Hello, my name is Ed Boyle, a cardiothoracic surgeon and co-inventor of the Pluriflow Active Clearance Technology System to prevent chest tube clogging and retain blood for patients recovering after heart and lung surgery. In this segment of our technical tips series, we will discuss the Pluriflow System's magnetic safety release feature. A common question for new users of the Pluriflow System relates to the magnetic safety release feature. This relates to the mechanism for chest tube clearance. A clearance wire and loop is manually actuated to maintain chest tube patency via a coupling of an external and internal magnet. This design accomplishes two goals. First, it allows one to move the clearance loop in and out of the chest tube without breaking the sterile environment. Second, it limits the amount of force that can be applied when advancing the clearance wire and loop into the chest tube to break down clot. During normal use, it is not unexpected to experience magnetic safety release as one moves the clearance loop in and out of the chest tube. Don't worry, the release of the clearance wire and loop is a normal feature of the Pluriflow system and was purposely built as a safety mechanism. It's easy to reconnect the magnetic drive to the clearance wire and loop. Slowly advance the shuttle over the clearance wire within the guide tube until you feel that click. You can feel the magnets recoupling with the wire. It is important to remember to recouple the clearance wire and loop with the magnetic drive and maintain it in the park position when not being actuated. There are four things that might contribute to magnetic safety release. First, make sure it's not obstructing at the skin suture securement site. This can happen when the suture dimples the tube, creating an obstruction. This can be corrected by having the suture retied so it doesn't obstruct the pluriflow guide wire and loop from moving freely inside the chest tube. Second, slow down. The loop may be encountering some resistance from clot that simply needs to be broken down with a slower movement. Faster movements are more likely to trigger magnetic safety release than slower. Third, consider patient positioning. The chest tubes are inserted in the operating room usually when the patient is laying flat. Sometimes when a patient is repositioned or sits up, it could put a slight dimple or kink in the chest tube. This can prevent the clearance wire and loop from moving in and out of the chest tube. If magnetic safety release becomes common after the patient position has changed, it will often resolve when the patient lies flat again. Remember, when repositioning the patient, you should retract the clearance wire and loop back into the guide tube so it's out of the tube during these movements. Fourth, not following the actuation schedule can lead to permanent occlusion of the tube leading to magnetic safety release. The best way to prevent this is to actuate per the actuation schedule as well as more often when indicated in cases of excessive bleeding. It is important to actuate according to the instructions for use or as frequently as necessary to prevent this issue. In summary, Magnetic safety release is a feature of the device which you will encounter. It's a simple maneuver to re-engage the magnetic drive. Causes that should be considered include skin suture too tight, moving the shuttle guide too quickly, tube kinking due to repositioning, or lack of compliance with the actuation schedule. If you have questions, please consult the Pluriflow Active Clearance Technology Instructions for Use contact your local sales representative, or visit clearflow.com.